So a new Planet of the Apes movie came out a little over a month ago, and I think it's still playing in theaters. Uh, it's called Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, and this is, I believe, the ninth or tenth movie in this entire film franchise. And uh, real quick, I just want to state that I'm a huge fan of this series, and you know the original one in particular. You know, I just found that movie so amazing when I watched it as a kid, and you know, later on, some of the movies that they created in this series were great. Some not so great. You like the ones that sucked, in my opinion. I'm, I'm so sorry about that. But anyways, getting back to the main topic of this video, we're talking about Kingdom of the Plan of the Apes. Now, I watched this movie the first week it came out uh, in theaters, and me personally, I thought this movie was pretty good. I think uh, the franchise is going into a pretty awesome direction right now, and, you know, they're talking about this being the start of a new trilogy of films, and the story was good, the CGI was you know phenomenal like i don't know how they do it in movies nowadays but you know certain movies especially like this one the cgi just looks phenomenal the apes look super realistic and uh, the actors and actresses they were pretty good they played the roles pretty decently in this movie speaking of actors and actresses uh, that's exactly what i want to talk about in this video today now unfortunately we live in a world where modern day hollywood feels the need to lecture us about how we as human beings ought to live our lives here on this earth and you know actors and actresses especially they're the ones who are constantly on the front lines trying to make us feel guilty and make us look like we're the bad ones here on earth and it's kind of ironic how the actors and actresses that are talking about this are playing in a movie about you know apes and humans and Real quick, I just want to show what the main actor, the guy who plays Noah, the main uh, ape in the movie, and then sh with uh, the actress who plays the main female human character in the movie. And this is what they had to say real quick in an interview. Obviously, when I'm playing May, I'm, I'm team human, but uh, I'm team ape. Freya's team ape. Oh, why, why so? I, I mean, look at the planet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, here look, we go. Look at what the humans have done to, to the Earth. Well, yeah, I, I, I dislike humans a lot, yeah. you know. Um, you know, there's the odd one that's like, no. I mean, there are, you know, there are times where you see humans come together and you go, oh, isn't this lovely? And then there's times where you go, I absolutely hate us. So at this point, you know, I'm not surprised, and I'm sure none of us are. And, you know, like I said, we live in a day where modern Hollywood feels the need to lecture, you know, the everyday citizen about how we ought to live our lives. And they're just trying to guilt induce us, make us feel guilty. And like humans are the destroyers of planet Earth. And like you heard them, like in the movie, she plays a human, but you know, in real life, she would be on Team Ape. And the reason being, look what the humans have done to planet Earth. Humans have destroyed it, left it to rot. And you know, there's more to it in their, you know, in their little conversation that meets the eye. And you know, s stuff like that doesn't go far past beyond my head. Like, I can easily catch what people are, you know, trying to talk about intentionally in conversations like that. And it should come as no surprise that, like, pretty much every actor and actress in Hollywood nowadays, they're just, you know, all part of the climate change agenda basically saying humans are the destro the destroyers of planet Earth, and you know, we ought to be ashamed of ourselves, and we ought to be, you know, taking better care of planet Earth, you know, but realistically, we're the ones who are destroying planet Earth, and you know, we should be punished for that. And, you know, as someone, you know, who works, you know, as of right now, someone who's in college, working a minimum wage job, you know, I barely make any money. The fact that, you know, I'm willing to spend some of that little hard-earned money to go drive to a movie theater in my car, pay for an overpriced ticket, overpriced popcorn, overpriced soda, and then sit in a dark room with random people just so I could watch a hopefully decent movie with hopefully a decent story, decent actors playing in it, portraying their characters well, and you know, maybe there'll be a good message at the end. You know, all that combined, you know, all I want is to just watch a movie in peace without being lectured about anything political. And that's the most frustrating part about this, in my opinion. Like, I'm so sick and tired of actors and actresses in Hollywood trying to shame humanity as, you know, destroying planet Earth as we know it. I'm, I'm just tired of it. 
you know, people like me who live, you know, in the real world, where we're not pampered with all of our million dollar luxury items, you know, we face reality every day. And the reality is our planet is not dying. And it's not like degrading or like getting destroyed like these people claim it is, you know, like it's, it just really baffles me about another thing. All these actors and actresses, and not just them, all of the people in charge of our government, all the elites around the world, they all like to point to like the most developed countries, the Western countries, like the United States, Great Britain, Australia, all of those countries, you know, they like to shame those, they like to shame us, in other words, to lecturing us, telling us that we're the biggest polluters on this earth. And, you know, if they had any common sense and they took just five minutes out of their extremely busy schedule, if they just took five minutes out of that, they could easily find the evidence that is required to prove their point wrong. And what point is that? Well, matter of fact, the United States is not the biggest polluter on Earth. You want to know who, you want to know who actually pollutes planet Earth the most? Yeah, it's not the United States. It's not any Western country. No, it just so happens to be China. Yeah, China's the biggest polluter in the world. Like, who'd have thought? A country that doesn't give one wit about the state of planet Earth? A country that wants to take over the whole world by any means necessary? A communist country. Yeah, who'd have thought? Who'd have thought that China, out of all countries, is the biggest polluter on Earth? And, you know, I don't understand why people are so afraid to confront China and lecture them like, hey, stop polluting the planet, stop polluting the planet. You're never gonna hear actors and actresses like the two that played in Planet of the Apes recently. You're never gonna hear people like them stand up to China and lecture them how they're destroying the planet. Of course not, because that would destroy their whole narrative. And which brings me back, you know, to the point of this video, like actors and actresses, they just need to shut up about political stuff like this and just act. Just act in the movies you're hired to act in, play your parts well, so that, you know, me being me, I'll keep paying with my own personal money to go watch your movies. You know, it's because of me the reason why you guys have a job. You know? So just stop trying to lecture us and shove your political agenda down our throats. We don't want that. All we want to do is watch a good, honest movie with hopefully a good moral, uh, lesson at the end, a good story, great CGI scenery, just all that stuff. The last thing we need is some pathetic political agenda shoved down our throats. So please, stop it. Stop it. Get some help.